Hey everyone, it's Renz. Welcome back to the channel. So ever since I became a content creator, I've used a lot of different products on my desk. It's evolved over time, but one key lesson I've learned is to carefully select accessories that serve a practical purpose and essential for my workspace. Now I'm currently getting ready to give my home office a makeover in the next few weeks. So I'm super excited to share with you guys that whole process. But in the meantime, here are five desk accessories that I'm absolutely loving lately. Let's get right into it. If you work from home, you know the struggle of having to find a place in your home that's both comfortable and well lit for video calls, which is why lighting plays a huge part in any desk setup. It's not only beneficial in terms of helping with eye strain, but can also provide light when working in darker conditions. Now, LumCube was kind enough to sponsor a portion of this video and let me try their Edge Light 2.0. There's also an option for you to get one with the base with touch sensitive slide controls but I wanted to save space on my desk, so I opted for the version that could be mounted on the desk, which is quite easy to install. What caught my eye with this light is its minimal and elevated design. It has a 270 degree rotating light head, so you can have it as a video conferencing or streaming light. There's five pivot points, so you can have flexible light positioning and adjustability. On the light itself, you'll find physical buttons for easy control, including power, brightness, and color temperature. You can adjust the color temperature range from 2700 Kelvin to 7500 Kelvin. Personally though, I prefer keeping mine in the middle to replicate natural daylight. This light is incredibly handy, especially during my unboxing videos. It eliminates the need for setting up my large key light and provides soft and flattering illumination. Additionally, it helps during late night work sessions and serves as a pleasant accent light. Furthermore, it's a lifesaver during video calls, a quick adjustment, and it's good to go. If you stream regularly or on video calls where you need more light, this is also a pretty good option. You can also get the light in black or white to fit your desk aesthetics. If you're in the market for a space-saving LED desk light at an affordable price, this one is worth considering. And a big thank you to LoomCube again for sponsoring a portion of this video. I've used many desk mats in the past from different materials like leather and wool, but over the years, I think the best one is matte. In my experience, it's easier to clean and maintains its clean look over time. My favorite desk mat is from Grobemade. You've probably seen this company many times in other desk set of videos, and there's a reason why. They're the OGs when it comes to desk accessories, and all of their products are high quality and well crafted. When it comes to desk mats, choosing the right size and color is also key. I like to have my desk mat take up a good amount of space on my desk, not only to protect the surface of my desk, but also leave room for other peripherals like my keyboard, mouse, and other accessories. Luckily, Growmade has a wide range of sizes you can choose from. The one you see on my desk is the Medium Plus in dark gray. I think this is the perfect size for my 60 by 30 desk. It looks so good too, paired with my walnut desk. The matte finish is nice to the touch, and the cork material underneath the matte ensures that it stays in place on your desk. In addition to sizes, you can also pick from the new colors they added, which all look really good. I would recommend a video that my good friend Michael made if you're stuck between choosing colors. I never would have thought that keyboards would actually make a difference in how I work, but having a really high quality keyboard just makes working that much more fun. I write a lot of scripts, whether it's long form videos like this one or my short form content that I publish daily. So I type on my keyboard pretty much every day. My keyboard of choice is the Loop TKL from Mode. It's a brand new keyboard that's now available for pre-order and I've been loving it so far. Mode makes really high quality and great looking keyboards. I've used many of their boards that I've featured on the channel, like their most recent one, the Tempo. This keyboard though has become my new favorite. I went with the Mirage Finish, which is this nice navy blue color with gold accents. For my keycaps, I'm using the Anthracite keycaps, also from Mode, to give my board a classic, almost retro kind of look. It looks so good alongside my other white peripherals. This board is fully customizable on their website, and you can literally configure it to your heart's content. Oh, and of course, it sounds really good. Here's a sound test. Now I do know this keyboard is on the pricier side, so a great affordable option if you're just getting into mechanical keyboards is Satoshi's SM1 Slim Mechanical Keyboard. It comes in black or white and honestly is such a great value for the price. You won't get as premium of a feel in terms of materials, but it looks good and sounds good as well. It's compact, works for both Mac and Windows, and features a beautiful white backlight with 14 different light patterns. Oh, and it's wireless too, so you can connect up to four devices, which even my Loop TKL can't do. Definitely a great option. 
Staying organized on your desk is really important and having a productive workspace. This is where the Gather Collection by Ugmon comes in. This collection is a desk organizer system that includes trays, placeholders, a monitor stand, and more. In my previous setup, I also featured this collection and it blew up on Instagram. It got over like a million views. So this year, I wanted to change things up and get the collection in white. I'm going for a white and walnut look. I think it looks really clean and changes the whole mood of my setup. I usually go for that darker aesthetic look, but something about white and walnut just hits different. It brightens up the space while also maintaining an elegant look. What I love about this collection is that it's fully modular and the bottom of most pieces have magnets to allow for rearrangement. The collection includes a large monitor stand, phone stand, headphone stand, and a zigzag tray that houses your pens, pencils, and even small items underneath this small space. And since it's modular, you can buy what you need now and just add on later. There's so much thought, care, and meticulous design work that went into this collection and I think it's well worth the price. Every time I sit down to do work, I just feel more inspired since this collection is so beautiful to look at. Not only is it beautiful, but it's functional and it's able to do both. I've never been a big fan of webcams since I think most of the ones I used were not very good. That all changed though once I got to try the Opal C1 webcam. Not only does it have an awesome design, small form factor, but it also promises DSLR-like quality. This has not left my desk ever since I covered and reviewed it on the page. So this is basically how the Opal C1 looks and as you guys can tell, it does offer really professional looking images right out of the gate. Um, and I'm just using the Opal uh, C1 Composer, which is part of the app that is connected to the webcam and you can fine tune the settings to exactly how you want it but this is how it looks right out of the box it looks really good and you can adjust the bokeh and things like that but to be honest this is really good and it offers a lot of you know that dslr like quality and i think this is really important especially for me i usually have meetings with like brands and, and things like that so this is a great way for me to not only look professional but also a great way to sell myself and sell my services when it comes to content creation so this is basically how it looks although it's pretty pricey at 300 dollars, i think it's well worth if you work a job that requires you to take a lot of video calls or meetings furthermore the app support for the opal c1 is great you can dial in your settings and customize exactly how you want your image to look using the Composer app. If you're in the market for a webcam, this is a must have in your setup. And that's it. Those are my five desk accessories in 2024. I hope you guys found a lot of value in what I shared today. There's a lot more to cover, so stay tuned for the full home office makeover, which should be done in the next few weeks. Follow me on my socials to see more behind the scenes of that process. But if you made it this far in the video, thank you guys for watching. And if you wanna see more content like this one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But other than that, See you in the next one. Peace.